Wow, we're gonna have a great day today. I know we are. It's a weigh-in day. We're also gonna do some grocery shopping. Um, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna show you what I ate for today. Um, really, really good stuff going on today. Stick around, watch the video. Um, let me know what you think. You guys are awesome. Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're having a great week. Um, so it's another end of a great week. So um, interesting week for me. I got to uh, go to jury, jury duty on uh, Tuesday. Um, got selected for a jury. So I sat in a trial for the last couple of days. Um, the trial's over with now. It was good. Uh, interesting experience. Got to meet some great people. Um, the only thing was it was federal court, not state court, federal court. So federal court here is in downtown LA, which is about 55 mile drive from here. And that means LA traffic both ways. And we get out at five o'clock. So heavy traffic coming home. It was, it was interesting. So, um, the, the jury duty itself was actually okay. It was, like I said, it was a great experience, meeting great people. Um, it was it was interesting because you could meet, you know, there was a nurse on the on the jury. There was a guy that's a video editor for uh, TV shows and movies on there. Um, there was um, an engineer that's on there. A young guy that had just graduated was an engineer. Um, I don't know. It was just it was just a plethora of uh, people on there that from a variety of lives, different parts of LA. And when you're in a federal court, they go from LA County, Ventura County, uh, Santa Barbara County. So they have people that are coming from a hundred miles away <laughs> to, to go to jury duty here. So, I mean, I guess I, if you're over 80 miles, I guess I put you up in a hotel, but just really different. So. So great experience, though. So, um, enjoyed it, but it has uh, because of the the long hours and the long drives, an hour and a half each way, two hours. It, it made that uh, I'm way behind on video editing and answering comments and all the other stuff because I didn't get a chance to to do much on YouTube in the last uh, last week. Plus, it was a holiday weekend before that. Got to spend time with the family and the wife. We had a bunch of stuff that we had done. Hopefully, uh, you guys had a great Labor Day. Um, we did a bunch of meal prepping as well. I enjoyed uh, the long weekend, so um, hopefully we have more of them. Uh, our next long weekend is actually a vacation coming up that we're going to be taking in about four or five weeks. And uh, we're going back over to the East Coast. Um, checking out some more places and uh, looking around and relaxing. It'll be my wife and I's 10 year anniversary in the middle of October. So that's like four or five weeks away. It's hard to believe that we've been married for over 10 years. We'll be married for over 10 years um, pretty quickly here. Life is moving on. Um, hey, you know, um, Tell me what's going on in your life, uh, you know, give me a little comment. How are you doing on your uh, eating and uh, health journey and all that? I'm going to call it a health journey instead of a weight journey because it really is. It's about more than just losing weight. It's also about, you know, exercising for me and getting healthy and staying healthy as I get into my golden years. So I will be turning 65 in October as well. A lot of great things happening in October, hopefully. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm going to go f um, get some breakfast. Um, right now, I'm just having my coffee. And I'm going to have an egg muffin. And that's going to be my breakfast. And uh, we'll come back and uh, show you what we're going to do for, for lunch. All right, so here's my lunch. I'm gonna take uh, my keto ratio yogurt for my snack today. 
Um, I actually have taken two of the egg life wraps. They're in here. Two egg life wraps. Um, I've actually taken this is the last of this cheese. And then I'm going to use some of this Applegate um, oven roasted turkey breasts. Seven ounces in here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make a sandwich out of it. And that's going to be my lunch. All right. So we'll come back in the next segment. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about how the lunch went, what it looks like. So this is the, <clears throat> all I did was put the turkey breast on there and put some cheese on there and I melted it. That's all I did. So that's what it looks like. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Very tasty. And a glass of water. So good. So easy, so good. So off for my walk, a little change of scenery today. So um switch again so we're out on uh, out on the trail I haven't been out here in a while this is really close to my work um, but I just wanted to come over here I'm gonna do a quick little walk down for about a half hour uh, just get some exercise in and uh, really beautiful out here it's a nice trail so um yeah I'm gonna switch that around here so coming up all right so I thought I'd kind of walk down a little bit, a little bit windy set today, so, um, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd try to get into a little more covered area here, but I don't think it's much better. But anyway, so just trying to get out and get my walk in, get my steps in, um, thought I'd change up the scenery a little bit, um, nice, I used to hike this trail a lot, my wife used to work, our other job is down about the other way, about a mile down the trail, this mile's about three miles long goes from kind of one side of town to the other side it's just a nice walking biking trail not nothing steep or anything uh, you know strenuous or anything but it's just a nice trail it is a, it's a pretty good walk it has some hills little hills on it and stuff but uh, yeah there's some houses along the side over here um, and it's just generally a nice area and pretty quiet a lot of people come out and walk us because it is here in town and it's a pretty somewhat easy trail what I would call it because they're an easy trail a lot of the guys on the bikes that ride cut across town will ride on this just because I get from one side of town to the other side of town but yeah um, all right I'm gonna enjoy the day and uh, it's beautiful out today mid 70s light wind I'm um, just a really beautiful day so I'm gonna enjoy it and enjoy the scenery and I'll talk to you guys in the next segment hey it's time to go get some stuff from Costco go again run in just grab a few things um, if I get anything interesting I'll show it to you we'll do a little quick little haul um, not gonna get a lot but uh, get a few things I'll show you later oh. so I parked as far away as I possibly could but I made a mistake I parked it by the car wash so it's going to be a little noisy. I'm going to show you real quick like on my phone what I got. We got the, the shavers. We actually got two packages of them. Um, they are saved 10 bucks today for this, this month. So we got two of them. We got the eggs. Five dozen eggs. I got some more coffee for me. I got some uh, cheese wisps. They didn't have any uh, 405s. I got some of this uh, La Victoria... Uh, organic marinara. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty clean. I was really surprised. Some good old turkey bacon. We're going to try a couple things with turkey bacon. Um, my wife got some of these bao bai, bai, um, steam buns. We also got some of the, uh, the crispy uh, wings. They do have a few carbs on them, but I'm okay with it. Uh, and we bought some of the salmon. 
in there. And then my wife wanted these things for her lunches. She uses them. Those beef bogey. I don't eat them, but she does. Um, we got some almond flour. I got uh, two of these uh, these turkey breasts here. Um, I love those in sandwiches. They're really clean. They're nothing but if you look at them. Let's see if I can find it on here. Look at the ingredients. Just turkey breasts, water, less than sea salt and vinegar. So pretty clean. I did get some uh, erythritol for cooking. I got a couple of... Uh, couple of the butters, the grass-fed, grass-finished butters, they're a lot cheaper than the, uh, and then I got some the Driscoll raspberries, I mean black raspberries I should say. These are actually pretty cheap, they're like a dollar, I don't know, the dollar twenty-nine or sixty-nine or something like that, I'll have to look. Um, some pecans, those are my weakness, I like to snack on them, I probably shouldn't have bought them. And then we bought uh, two of these mushrooms. Um, great to go in things. Mushrooms are a great alternative for low carb. Add a lot of flavor, seasoning. And that's really what it is, with the exception of the eggs, which are going to go on top of everything. Sorry about that. But that's, uh, that's our haul. We still spent 290 bucks. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of room in our freezer. We might get some good deals elsewhere on meats and stuff. So, all right, I'll see you in the next segment. Woohoo! I got something to unbox. So, um, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So, if you don't know that Perfect Keto has had a sale on Labor Day, they have, they have, Three really big sales. It's the only time I buy anything from Perfect Keto is on those three big sales. So this was from Perfect Keto and something I bought from them. Um, so one of my favorite things to get from them are Nola bars. So I got some Nola bars. This is the uh, I got two two thing two of these. These are the white chocolate macadamia nut Nola bars. I got two of them. So I like these things. They're really really good. <clears throat> I don't eat them very often, and that's. These will last me all the way up until Black Friday, probably beyond that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we don't buy them very often, and it's just one something to to grab and take on while it's on the go. Um, so and here were some more Nola bars. These are the coconut uh, chocolate chip ones. To me, these taste a lot like Almond Joys because they get that chocolate and the coconut flavor on them. So I really like these ones. So. Um, Really, really good. Like I say, every once in a while, every once, never, maybe eat one of these every once and once or twice a month or something like that. And then um, this is the peanut butter one. I've never had this one. I wanted to try this one, so I ordered this one as well. And then I ordered some of the uh, the, the chocolate cereal, so I thought we would try some of this uh, um, chocolate cereal from Perfect Keto. So um, pretty cool. Great stuff. Never had this before. Um, it says one net carb. It has 16 total carbs, so it's going to be few and far between. So this will be uh, something like maybe when we go on a trip, we'll throw in a car and bring it with us, and then we can munch on it in the car, or maybe we go somewhere, we'll bring it so that it's a it's a better option than um, eating somewhere that has some really bad food, right? So. Um, so that's kind of what we got from Perfect Keto. Um, I just kind of wanted to show that to you, um, kind of show you the stuff that I get from them. Um, I do occasionally get some uh, electrolyte drops, but the electrolyte drops that I got last time, I still haven't used them all because of the fact that uh, I've been using the, the Keto Shower ones, right? So um, anyway, um, we'll come back in the next segment. Let's talk about how we did for the day. All right, there is dinner cooking up. It's um, some uh, tilapia, and uh, oh, I seasoned it and then coated it with the uh, chicken flour. So, show you what it looks like when it's coming out. We're gonna eat. 
And we're having some green beans. Season with a little bit of oil, some uh, some garlic and some pepper and some other good stuff. All right, here's my dinner. <clears throat> so the beans, I got two pieces of that tilapia and then a pork chop that was left over from last night. Actually, two nights ago. So we're trying to eat them up. Um, pretty good. I uh, think it's a good dinner. The only thing that has carbs in here is the uh, is the green beans. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, so how do we do this <clears throat> for the day? How do we do for the week? Um, let's find out. So last weekend was uh, Labor Day weekend, so it was a good. It was a holiday weekend. Um, I think we did okay during a holiday weekend. We'll talk a little bit about how my weight was and all that good stuff. Um, let's talk about how today was, though. So remember this morning I had my coffee with the stuff that I normally put in it. Um, I did eat one of those egg and cheese muffins this morning. For lunch I had that turkey breast, the, um, the pepper jack uh, sliced cheese, the egg life wrap, and the bird's eye uh, keto yogurt so that was my lunch um <clears throat> excuse me dinner was the green beans the tilapia and the pork chop and that was it so we didn't need a snack i use that um i use the uh the yogurt as kind of the snack for when i get home instead of having it i have it at work at two o'clock or so and um, that's kind of how my day went so so let's kind of talk about the numbers for the day so up here i'll show you my numbers um, my protein was 200 um, so that was really a good day, really high protein day. My fat was 54, so that was good. That's where I wanted to be. My total calories was 1,368, which was good. Um, my total carbs was 14 out of 20. Uh, my fiber was three and my net carbs was 11, right? So, um, I would call that a pretty good day. Um, now we'll talk about how we did for the week. Um, just real quick, like I'm going to show you my weight up here. This is my weight. I was at 178.8, so I actually went back down two tenths. I will take that as a win, especially for a holiday weekend and being able to go down two tenths. Um, so I was so happy with the weight. Um, um, it meant that what we did on the weekend was working. The, the meal prepping that we do um, for the week is working, so that was really, really good. Up here, I'll show you my chart. Um, this chart here, um, just so you know, I have it in my hand. Um, and you can see where the flat last couple of weeks have been kind of flat, but they're below the 180 mark, so that's good. Um, I've been eating a lot of food, a lot of great food. Um, some days have been some really good. Uh, the calories are over 2,000, so if you think every day is around the 1,300 mark, you're wrong. Some days have been really high in fat, and some days have been really low in fat, so it just depends on what I eat for the day. Uh, I'm not really trying to hit any macros. I'm trying to use it to to eat smart, right? So that's what I'm using it as. Um, I haven't been tracking macros um, during the week other than the days that I do these videos um, just because we've been meal prepping and to me I wanted to see if the meal prepping would help me go and sustain our, our, our day. And so far it's been, I think it's been working because we've done it, what, three weeks now and you can see that my weight's been pretty stable for the last three weeks. So um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. So. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you do the thumbs up thing and you hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That would be really, really awesome. Um, you know, hey, if there's anything else you'd like to see or anything else you'd like to talk about, let me know down in the comments and um, we'll do it. Would you like to see another uh, what I eat in a weekend or uh, something else like that too, um, like I did last week? Um, so just kind of trying to give you some variation of it. I know a lot of I eat a lot of the same stuff, so it kind of gets a little bit boring. But uh, hey, it works for me, and consistency pays, right? Um, so, hey, if you like this video, make sure you go over and check this video out, and check this video out over here, and then check out this Alan's awesome logo up here. Click on it so that you don't miss any of the other great videos that comes out because you guys are awesome. Um, you inspire me. I do this for you guys. Um, you know, you keep me fit. You keep me healthy. Um, 
and I'd like to, uh, you know, return the favor and hopefully inspire you guys to do the same thing. So um, hopefully I'm reaching somebody out there and this is a really meaningful to you and help you. So if there's anything I can do, there's a mail, an email down below that you can contact me at. Um, so go down there and check out, uh, check that out. So check me out on Instagram. I'll see you over there too.